Hi guys, Renee here from Bargain Hunter Thrift Store and I just made a purchase. Somebody walked on my store, they said that a whole bunch of Padres stuff. I went to go look at the garage, they said, look, just give me 200 for everything. It's one big box. I don't even really know what's in there. I looked at a couple of the pictures. I saw a couple of graded cards. I saw a bunch of signed baseballs. But for 200 bucks, you know, I didn't need to look that close. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna take a chance. I'm gonna see what kind of stuff is in there. We're gonna look at it now for the very first time so you guys get to see it with me. So hopefully we score. I called my friend Robert, he should be here any minute. But the only reason uh, I'm doing the intro by myself is because it's getting dark and I wanna shoot this video before it gets dark so I can upload it for you guys tomorrow. So you guys ready to go take some luck? Hopefully Robert will be here. We'll flash forward, we'll look at some of the cards, we'll look at some of the books. And all this stuff is modern day Padre stuff, but that sells great at our stores, so. And hopefully, and you know, there's actually a bunch of 1984 World Series type of stuff. So let's take a look and we'll hey guys, Robert just got here, we did the intro, so he doesn't even know where we got this, but. I paid 200 bucks, somebody came into the store again, and I don't really know what's in there. I just thought quantity, I can't go wrong, there's some autograph stuff. We're gonna take a look really quick what we have, and hopefully we find something that's really cool. Robert did not bring me gloves again, so make sure to go to his channel, Collecting Dust Hobbies, and make some bunny jokes. No gloves, bunny jokes will follow. So let's see what we got, because I really don't know what I bought. But this very first thing, so I didn't open this up, but I saw the top one right away. Yeah, nice, it's there's a lot of pennant collectors up there like that kind of stuff. Yeah, and you know, Padre stuff, obviously, when San Diego will sell. So let's go through the stuff quick, because we're running out of daylight. That's a World Series Born pennant. The national champion. So what, what should these be, like 20, 30 bucks, probably? Maybe, I mean, and, I mean, some of these might have a little bit more value, but yeah, but 20, 30 dollars is a, is a fair price. Okay. Unless it's a rarely, really rare one, like, something like this actually might be rare, but I, I don't know if anybody's gonna really want to pay more than 1998 World Series. Colorful. Yeah, probably more common. These two back here are a little bit less. The older ones, yeah. yeah. So then we have, to, I'm gonna look online, but even at 10 bucks a piece, I mean, that's over 10 of them right here. Yeah. I paid 200 for everything. There's a box coming with some graded so cards. Like this person was a big Padre fan. They have the Cactus League stuff. See, stuff like this is different because it's the spring training. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. So. so let's just go through it fast really quick. 2001 Padres. It looks like it's in good condition. Yeah, they're in very good condition. Yeah, actually, the colors are really nice. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of times you find these and they've been faded or they've been on the wall or something and they've got the uh, marks from the pens. Like Juan, Tony Gwynn. 98. It's actually a lot of them here. That's more than 10. That might well, be. That's your second one. Yeah, second one for that one. Yeah, same with that one. By the way, Tatiana's doing the camera yeah, work today. Guys, you got Hi. another 84 series, so two of those. Yeah, I like those colors. Those are probably the best You've ones. You've had that one again? Yeah, yeah, 84. 1988. How old were you in 1984, Tatiana? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> she wasn't born until 2006, but she's grown up faster than me now. Negative 14. Oh, and there's another one, too. So three of those. And what's in the... It seems something else is yeah, in the Yeah, it seems like there's two there. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Renee. <laughs> I know. I just need somebody to say, that Renee guy is breaking everything. But these are soft, guys. But this has a World Series sticker on it. These are not signed, are they? Uh, it's it's, it's, it's uh, fabricated. It's printed? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So cool. So another one of those, so there's what, three of those, right? Yeah. And then, oh, that oh that's a cool one. German that's flag. I was there. That's no, that's different. not German. Yeah, it's close to German. Yeah, you're right here. Gold right here. Yeah, she's looking at the colors there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so cool. So I think I probably have my $200 right here, don't you think? Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's I mean, I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I'd say at the very low end, 100 you know? I mean, so. No, that's 15 of them there. Yeah, I know, I'm just saying the low, low end, but. We have our $200 back, yeah, folks. I'm easy, gonna go with that. Easy, though, easy, yeah. You can go. Still have my so, cards. just because we're running out of light, so I noticed this box has some good stuff in it. Oh. <laughs> it had, had some good stuff in it. I think it's not good. Okay. The fan club, blow up Padres. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool. What are these? Well, 86. That's an 86 tops rack pack. Padres, Padres, this 20. Win. That is kind of weird. All three Quins. Interesting. What we got here, like $4,000? Yeah, right now. <laughs> 80, 80, 89 dollars. Why don't you something. open this? Okay, let's see what this is here. Well, I look at it. It's a player profile, Cal Rufkin Jr. Oh, that's good. Official commemorative. This might be the tickets here. I don't know, because I don't know when, when he Cal did his, uh, his farewell tour, all the stadiums did something for him. It looks brand new. So. Yeah, mint condition. So not in the collecting it's hobby. It's something under there. Oh, mint condition, okay. Yeah. yeah. The collecting so. hobby, we say mint condition. Yeah, so it might be because like that's when, just a book. Kyle Ripken yeah, book. when he when he uh, did his farewell tour in his last year, all stadiums had something for him, so it's kind of cool. Now, see everything he dropped. Yeah, it's one here. So Padres, 
25 cents, 1969. Oh, wow. It's a nice, it's a scorecard. It'll be interesting to see if there's, I know we don't have a lot of time, but to see if it's been scored. Check it. Yeah. Oh, and that, that was a PSA card that just smacked the concrete. You guys hear that? So let's just hope it wasn't a uh, oh. PSA 10 1983 Tops Tony Gwynn card. <laughs> I've got to get so much shit because everybody in the videos I was Renee so rough with this stuff. Excuse me, two PSA cards that hit the... Hit the, the box is broken, the bag is broken. You would think the stuff wouldn't be broken. I got a bit of it falling down, so you should do for editing, like, do it in slow motion and play the sad song. No, why? Because everybody already makes fun of me. Um, it's clean on the inside, <laughs> no which is nice. This is always interesting when you find one that's marked, you know, because you can kind of earmark it to a game or something like that. But uh, really clean mint. I mean, just really good condition. So. Okay. How's Troy Claus? Is he any good? Troy Claus played for the Angels, but yeah. Here's another Troy Claus. Oh, J.J. Davis and Claus. These are 1999 PSA Knights. Yeah. Yeah, so these are most likely these rookies. I'm trying to remember when he came up, but... Some rack packs. School. Yeah, so these would be uh, Troy Gloss rookies, but they're, they're nines. Um, I'm not up on my Troy Gloss prices, but... Uh, so we're gonna do a bubble on these two cars. Nice, yeah. Actually, let's take a video so we can do the bubble and we tell you what the prices are. Aren't we taking the video? No, no. I mean, I'm like, we'll do like a little shot, a little shot, but we'll check them. They're both PSA. Might be a little scratch, but lucky they have the protective packs. You want to pick up the rest? <laughs> oh. Here's another 1998 Flare Update Troy Claus Mint Nine. Oh my goodness. What? Okay, so I'm gonna. Did okay, I you guys really, you guys really gonna see what Renee dropped on the floor? Okay, you guys really want to see what Renee dropped on the ground right there? Is a 1982 <laughs> Donner's Cal Ripken rookie. <laughs> oh, nice. Is that worth anything? Um, in graded format, it can be. Um, this one's a little bit off center, but it's the corners are sharp and everything else. So, so what, how many hundreds of dollars are we talking? No, I mean, if it grades out of PSA 10, you know, you could get, you know, three, four hundred bucks, but or maybe 200. I don't know. It's been a while since I looked at the Donner's one, but, um, but still, it's off center, so it's not going to be 10, but, but still. You dropped it. Another one? <laughs> yeah, another Troy Claus. So three of that. I hope he's good. We got the uh, Mother's Cookies uh, Padres 96. It's a Cal Ripken number to 5,000. Yeah, this looks like oh, yeah, nice, It's a rack pack with Tony Quinn's on that side. Yeah, 95. And I think this is all you want to go through this quick. I don't know what the hell. This is some kind of... I don't know what this is. I mean, it's a Corgi too. Uh-huh. So yeah, I saw a corgi and I was like, I gotta buy this. Okay. So while he looks at this. eBay Live commemorative card. <laughs> 1984 official program. Somebody's autograph. Promo card. Autograph. No, well, that's, just, that's just the, the, the thing. But. Oh, this one is signed. Ken Caminetti. It's signed. He looks creepy. Ken Caminetti. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tony Quinn back. So basically you can see everything is like related to... Uh, so, I mean, this... This is a Padres Mariners ticket, and there's an autograph on it. I can't really tell, though, but... Bach so, Wade. So it looks like there's a lot of, um... That's like a D right there, so... Not sure. Yeah, I mean... It's just stuff. But yeah, see, stuff. Like, these right, cards are not stuff, super yeah. rare, but anything Padres, anything Tony Gwynn will sell. So I think I'm doing good for 200 Now no, I you're saw... Doing fine. I saw a box that I thought was really interesting. I'm going to try to pick this up. Oh, I'm going to show this first. Okay. So I saw this for all the toy guys. This is Gorky. This is probably 60s, made in Great Britain. It might be 70s, let me see. And I don't know what these, this could be worth 40 bucks, could be worth 500. Fire truck. Grandpa Gunda loves these. So I'm gonna do a little bubble. I'll tell you guys the eBay value, what they actually sell for. True fact, fire trucks are just water trucks in disguise. Technically. So the thing that fell out into the box is the, uh... Uh, Silo pack, 85 tops with Tony Gwynn All-Star on top. Perfect. Worth $200. <laughs> Don't quote me that, guys. So these are just books of 90s cards. It's 96 leaf, yeah. Yeah, usually we put like on a book, 1999 oh, no, 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 What do we say? No, I just want to make sure. This... See, the thing with 96 leaf is they had uh, had the parallels. This looks like just the base. Nah. So. 20 bucks for the book. Yeah. Well, no, so if that's... you get the golds, then there are a lot of people. It depends if it's the grip. Okay, so I got that. two interesting buttons. So just one first. Here, move that book. Just put it on the floor. Okay, this box will be interesting. And I just looked just on top. Okay, first thing. Let's go. Oh, wow. The pins. Well, there you go. It's pins. dirty. Well, your pins, uh, who cares about the towel? But <laughs> I'm not just kidding. 
uh, towels collectible. Yeah, but all these pins, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, for all the pin collectors out there. 50 bucks in pins, at least. World Series title, 1998. What yeah, a game. Probably giveaway. Okay. So you got the Tony Gwynn Bammer Bear or whatever this one is. <gasps> yeah, Bambi. Official National League. This actually looks like an older ball. Where'd you it, guess? I'm just making fun. I thought it actually looks like an old older ball. Or it's the commissioner was Frick Prest actually, or Fort Frick. It is an older ball. Fort yeah, it's Frick? not signed. No, this is an older ball. I just, I'm trying to remember when. Do you remember when Ford Frick was the president of the National League? Ford. That's easy. I'm going to make a little screenshot. So you can just tell if you want to look just, just the way the type oops, the way the typesetting is, too. I mean, it's an older ball. Because I'm trying to remember Giamatti came in, but, but uh, oh, yeah, that, that's a nice ball. Rawlings official Pioneer League. Yeah. Yeah, so obviously this person went to the 84 World Series or had something to do with it because they've got a ton of stuff from that hit the button. Spring training 2000 Padres. It's like Ernie Young. Jackie Robbins and 50th anniversary ball. We usually get like five bucks for that. Spring training ball is not a big deal, right? Phil Nevin, possibly. Uh oh. National League game ball. It's still signed. Craig Maddox 2008, it says in the box. Oh, that'd be nice. Hall of Famer. So great, it's kind of faded signature. Is that Craig Maddox? Can't tell. Yeah, it's a tough one. Hmm, I don't know either. Well, oh, it's a signed ball. On the box, it says 2008 Craig Maddox. But see, I noticed a whole bunch of balls. There you guys go. Garth, I, I believe this is Garth Brooks. Because if you guys remember, Garth Brooks uh, played in the spring, the Padres one year, and he was trying to do his baseball thing. So I, I believe... I believe that's Garth Brooks. You guys want to take a look at that? The country singer? Yes, yeah. He actually played. Really? Some, he played some spring baseball with the Padres. Oh, it looks like Garth Brooks. Yeah. yeah. I do like Garth Brooks. Something you wanted I like country to do. Music. If I remember correctly, he had a hit or two. You know, he, he did all right. Oh, so there's more. This oh, there you go. Cardinals oh. tickets. So I'm, I'm a Cardinals fan, so this is kind of nice. Oh, you are? Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh oh. I'm just I'm looking at the date. Where's the dates here? August 4th, and yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's got this one in case, so it'd be interesting to see. 99, that'd be like what the um, McGuire home run chase, maybe. Oh, okay. so, so, so it might have been a game that uh, McGuire hit the home run. Unfortunately, I was up in L.A. at the time, and I, and I went to the series when he came into Los Angeles, and he sat the whole series out, goes up to San Francisco, hits a home run in his first at-bat. I'm like, seriously? Oh, that sucks. It was okay. I got to see Ray Langford, and he had a great, great game. So. Heritage Auction at Combo. <laughs> Sponsored. Okay, so here's a team sign ball. Another one of these. This one looks just as old as the other one. What, what's the commission on it? Spalding number one ball. Cushioned Cork Center. Official National League. Yeah. And, uh, uh hmm. John A. Hayden, maybe? That's, that's a pretty old ball. Yeah, that's that, cool. That name sounds familiar. So uh, here's, uh, here's a Here spring training ball. You getting the video pretty steady, then? Yes. I know we're going a lot in. You're losing light. Yeah. No, it's actually turning mm. out lighter. So this is, how, how, how are, this is a spring training team sign ball. Are they worried? Are they popular I, still? Or? I don't know. It just depends on who's on it. It's an official National League ball. Padres. World Series. Who's this guy? <laughs> Mickey Mann. Let's see. Okay. Wait, Mickey Mantle? No. Are you guys joking? We're joking. Yeah, Mickey oh. Mantle. Tatiana's like, wait a second. I, don't know. I know who Mickey Mantle is. 1985 like, Flair. It looks like a nest with Ricky Henderson on top. So since since Renee's going to be grading a bunch of packs anyway soon, That's might as well throw some of these in there. And just, uh, he has 98 spring sign. training. Oh, good. And he has a list who's on there, too. So we have to see that. These are part of his balls. Here, make sure we stack them back so we don't show them like two or three times. What's oh, I know. that one? That's the one you were looking at. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just. 99 spring training. And uh, there's only a couple signatures on this one. Oh, this is Garth Brooks again. Looks like. Yeah, it does look like that. Huh? That's funny. you got to look those up. Garth Brooks baseball. Yeah, 99. So you have the year, so. See, this guy is good. Like, whoever had this, he labeled what it is, so. 
Oh, yeah, he also obviously followed the Padres really good well, too. Going to spring, spring training. training. And everything else. It's only one signature. I don't know who that is. It's the same as this other one, whoever that is. It's so wavy. Yeah. You want to open that one? Or? It's like yeah. calligraphy. Kind of. Yeah, same same signature here. So, so we just got to figure. If anybody so like recognizes three or four, that one. Let's see if there's a name on this one. So this is interesting. This is Upper Deck certified. It has the number. Upper Deck Collection. It's an official Major League Baseball. Looks a little bit older. Who's this? Pooh Bear? Um, might be Bob Boone. Winnie the Pooh. Possibly. Winnie the it's certified by Upper Deck, so that's cool. I don't know. I mean, you know, I mean, that's just the first thing that came to mind was Bob Boone. But Is he super valuable? I use a catcher. He did okay. He was a good journeyman player. I mean, his, his sons did really well as well. They played hmm. in the league, but... Okay. As well as their dad, their grandfather. Okay, put the rest in this box. I got another box, so I don't know what's in the other box. We don't know what's in this box. Let me see. Let's try not to drop this. Oh, people make fun of you around here. Oh, uh, you already passed that. <laughs> <laughs> Padres. This looks like a flag. I think whoever had this collection was a Padres fan. You think? I'm not 100 percent sure. Does it, what does it say? Spring training or anything? Or National oh, League that's the, that, National that, that, that might be... Uh, National um, League. The thing with these is these might be the stadium flags. I actually have one. I have the Cardinals one that, that, flowed, that flew at Petco and they still did the, all the teams. But these, um, I know a lot of times every year they'll, they'll get rid of these and certain people get them or the auction off or whatnot. So that could be a stadium flag. That actually came out of the stadium. Well, are they worth anything? That's the key. Um, it just depends on the right collector. You know, um, I mean, if you get the right collector, is it, that was, I think, division champions. I mean, that could be 1500 bucks possibly. Really? Yeah. To, no. if, if you could prove that it was the stadium flag, you know, kind of thing. Say or mail in ticket, he paid 45 bucks. Let me see. Let's see what this says. Benefits Cindy Matters Fund. Oh, and it's, that's a ticket, official oh. commemorative ticket. There's something in here, too. Cal Rupian autographed baseball bat, mint signature. I mean, that's just a cutout. Yeah, we don't have to bet. Here's a certificate of authenticity. Jersey personally autographed by Junior Seo. But I know yeah, I don't so have to do it. Mean, apparently, there was a Cal Rupian Jr. autographed baseball bat. That didn't come with. Is that what this is here? No, it's not, I wish. Okay. So, yeah, I think this might just be some certificate. Just throw them in a box here and I'll sort them out. Basically, I'm, I'm just going to take all this to the store and sort it out and price it. Here's Padre stickers. There you go. So you can grade this as a ticket right here. Oh. You know, you got the uh, 1984 National League Championship Series. It's in beautiful shape. So and there's a lot of ticket collectors out there that like this. You can grade them as well. Oh, here, you're right. It is Bob Poon authenticated. This sign was signed by Bob Poon as a ball. Okay. Anaheim. This, this, actually, this is a nice one. Keep the, you might want to think about grading okay. this one possibly. You don't have to yell. I'll grade it. I mean, I'm, I'm open-minded. Just stop the violence. Oh, oh, this looks good. This is a ticket. You know, a good guy of mine, Kurt Francis. Kurt Francis, shout out to you. He likes buying a lot of tickets. It's this silent. is signed. That's Garth Brooks again, isn't it? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, it looks like this one. San Diego Padres versus Oakland Athletics. And it's 1999. It looks like it's Garth Brooks. And he has it in a really nice frame. Sterling. Yeah, uh, That's nice. It's, it's, it's a little weight, but it's still cool. I'll take it. Yeah. A little sugar scooper or something. And here's a championship 2006, so that's cool. That's yeah, just a magnet giveaway, things like that. But all that stuff adds up. Yeah, I mean, you know, for 200 bucks, 200 like bucks I said, is a great score. Yeah. Tony Quinn celebrating 3,000. I was there for it. You'll, you'll easily triple your money, maybe quadruple your money off this. That, that's what I was hoping for. Yeah, I mean, if you slowly, you know, parse it out and everything. But there's, but now that we're seeing all these tickets, there's, there's a lot of great tickets in here. So here's another ticket 2008 Spring Training, Colorado. Rockies, and I can't read the name, but it's an autograph ticket. It's two tickets in here, actually. One of them is signed. This is Padres Rockies 2006. I'm not sure if there's any significance, but that's the fun about the tickets is you look up the date and see, and see if anything, anything happened. happened. Yeah. Is there no hitter that day, or is there a. Ooh, first know. World Series Padres pin. Okay, we gotta go quick. I'll light this one up. Cal Rookie in uh, full color. Some really. Why don't you go through this box and show while I pull out some big items? All right, I'll look at it. And you can see, give your uh, opinions. Hall of Fame induction pin, and the so the, so apparently he was at the possibly at the Hall of Fame induction for Tony Gwynn, 
And you got some memorabilia there. Tony Quinn picture. Nice, nice big picture right 20 there. Twenty bucks. Somebody will buy that. You got a. I don't know what that is. Just a. Uh, what's the name? But Tony Quinn picture there. That's from a computer mouse. No, I know. I know that. But I was just saying. I don't know what was the picture on it. Oh. Yeah, it's a mouse pad. But um, here's a Ken Cummy Cumminiti. What's his name? Ken Cummy. Count Cumminiti. Cumminiti. It looks like it's signed. Looks like a bird. Got some '98 World Series uh, stadium giveaways. So this person obviously was pro most likely a season ticket. This might be a bobblehead, possibly, or a, oh, those Kushka doll, or the um, not Kushka, the uh, the Russian nesting dolls. I always forget the name. <laughs> get this open here, without mangling it. It's the Padre version. Well, there's a Tony Gwynn version. Oh, cool. Yeah. You get it? Just rip it. Or it's a bobblehead. Sporting news. That's yeah, probably too small. It's just like little headlines. People pay five bucks for that. Oh well, yeah, whole bag, uh, another bag of. Uh, Pins. That's good. Hey, check out this bat. This is actually game use. I don't. I think it's a practice bat. Russ Brand Russell Brannion. Was he good? Mm. I googled him really quick when I got it. He take it out. It's actually something to use in spring training. You can see. Oh yeah, it's it's one of the nesting dolls with Tony yeah, Quinn. Yeah. That's a good twenty bucks. Wow, and here's a whole more another stash of just tickets it looks like here it's nice that it's wrapped like that no this no you you got some really nice tickets here oh, oh wow whoa here is this oh feel like this. there's another nesting doll oh wow what? boom you, you, okay here you guys go yeah check this out zoom in you got a light on that let's get this out this is this is amazing um so it is the ticket the ticket from uh, olympic stadium in montreal where tony gwynn had his 3000th hit and that's the ticket Cool. So, what are we talking about? Ten thousand dollars? Fifteen thousand? No, no, no. Seventy-five thousand no. dollars? Maybe a few hundred bucks or something. Possibly. I'll take it. Depending on what the, uh, you know, what the uh, three thousand hit ones go for. Um, maybe less. Maybe more. I don't know. But you know, this this beautiful. And it's a real ticket, right? So that's seat yeah. number, everything. Yeah. yeah. No it's reproduction. It's in good shape. Yeah. So. So see, guys. So this is le what do you think? Two hundred bucks at least, right? Possibly. Yeah. I mean, between one hundred fifty, two hundred, maybe. And I'm on we'll, my ticket stuff, but. And what I'll do, There's I'm actually going to Google this on one. eBay, see if they're available, see any kind of history. But see how I was telling you guys the deals are out there? The deals are out there. You just got to work and you got to find them. Yeah, I mean, you got tons of other tickets in here. And so, I mean, that's a really big one. I mean, 3,000 is hit, you know, shot classes. Yeah, some uh, playing cards, aces. San Miguel beer. Padres. Some more. More <laughs> pens, pins. coins. I mean, I mean, you might even have, you know, $100 distant pins. That's cool. That's a nice, uh, what is international, it's an old glass. So let's see what's in here. I never opened this up right here. Well, actually, let's see what this one is first. This is, this is just a team picture, but somebody will pay 20 bucks for that. 1984, Miller Lite. Okay, let's do this one really quick, because this is a total surprise. I never opened this up. So same thing with these boxes, guys. I just saw there were balls in there and stuff, and for 200 bucks, I just felt like I couldn't. What's, say no. Yeah, I couldn't say no. Like, I felt like I can't lose. This is empty. This is not good. But anything? Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah! So, um, as Renee was saying... <laughs> no, actually, it's gotta be... Some, it's gotta be oh, this. I like that. Wait, show it to me. Yeah, was it a wolf picture then? You liked it? Yeah. <laughs> so Wait, maybe was, he was buying was... some stuff to frame or something. Oh, no, there's something. Huh? There's something here. Pop it. Okay. Oh, wow. It's signed by him, too. In a nice silver oh, oh, thank Sharpie. God. So, you've got the uh, Tony Gwynn. you got a nice silver Sharpie signature there. Really nice. Hitman. Hitman. Um, who knows? There's a there's a thing on the back here, right here, which might be the, the COA and everything that went Can with we it most it? likely. Yeah, let's, let's see it. Oh, I thought there was something. <laughs> I think I have a longer arm than you. No. Yeah. So art frame world. Tony Quinn photo mat. Oh, he was gonna get it matted, but it looks like he never did. Yeah. Hmm. Well, That's nice. I mean, this this is a beautiful signature. That's at least fifty bucks. Yeah. So somebody will buy that. Okay, cool. At least we got something out of there. What <laughs> else we got? Yeah, more. I don't know. I've never. Okay. So I've seen this. Oh, this is a signed piece. You can show him this. You know these players. Huh. Okay, you got Gwen and Benito Santiago. And I think they're signed on the bottom, right? Nice, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're both signatures down here. 
And check this out, Junior Seo. That's a nice Junior It's signed. Seo. Do is this picture still okay now halfway? Yeah. Okay, cool. We're almost done. Oh, I saw this though. Okay, got all you Pepsi fans out there. Get ready for some Pepsi advertising. I was waiting for some Pepsi. Oh, that's cool. That's older. So these might have been stuff that was at the stadium or who knows. Oh, these, this, this is actually decal. This is a Pepsi decal right here. So I've sold smaller ones like the Pepsi decal for like five, ten bucks. I mean, a big one. They got the Steve Garvey there. Yeah, he, his signature is super rare to get. And yeah, so he signed it twice. I know, I'm saying he signs like every, he's like, he's, he makes P. Rose look tight in signings. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> P. Rose signs everything. Okay, we got a couple of books. I don't think there's nothing great. Oh, I think these are Beckett's, if I remember right. And we just can't quick flip them. Uh, they look like Padre programs and whatnot. Score books, Dodgers, yeah, so sports card collector. It looks like a lot of this stuff was probably at the... Oh, um, Tony Quinn sign. Yeah, at the games when he went. So you get the sports. That's a nice little Sports Illustrated rookie in there. What year is that? Is that the 87? So not rookie, but... Yeah, Mariner. So yeah, it probably one of the person went to the games. They picked up the... Uh, oh, all these are Cal Ripken cards right here. Yeah, they picked up the... Um, what are we looking at, Cal Ripken? Like 100 bucks a card? Yeah. I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but dollar a card, right? On some of them, yeah. I mean, I'm just looking at them. I don't like your negativity, else. Robert. I'm not, this looks I'm like it's realistic. signed. You know, we don't do realistic here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Mm. We do positive. Yeah. Can you read senior? Yeah, that's the dad. So there's some junior stuff in there. Let's see, see what the juniors. Yeah. Look at these cards. They only have backs, no front. Oh, yeah, these are air cars, guys. These are the uh, blank, blank fronts. There's some cards in the back. I mean, not not a whole lot of value, but but still, like, you don't, wow. So, one, two, three, four, so 36. There's a card right here. No, four would be 48. Four. Oh, no, they had nine at 36, sorry. I thought they were 12. Um, and then you got, uh, these, this, this is just some uncut 91 Fleer. Okay. So, no, I mean, but, but value-wise, I mean, yeah. I mean, How much are the error cards worth? I, it depends on who's on the back. Um, they can go anywhere from a dollar on up. It depends. Hmm. Ticket again. The ticket with the Zenith. Uh, it says Angels Padres. So tons of tickets. Wow, yes, 45 bucks on this. Why? Spring training. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's signed on the inside. World Series. I mean, a lot of times I get like five bucks for these. This is signed uh, Ma ba Padres Magazine by Tony Quinn. So there's yeah. a lot of signed stuff in here. Yeah, yeah. That's the truth I saw. But uh, I mean, it's clean. Beautiful, it's a Mitch. You know, I'm a fair shake here. Okay, five bucks. Okay, Trevor Hoffman, who was just inducted in the Hall of Fame, so always a plus, 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 plus. Oh yeah, I mean for 200 bucks, this is great. Amazing stuff. National League, cool. I mean, so that's the thing, guys, is is, is what Renee was alluding to, because I bought a lot of things like this where it's 100, 200 bucks, and there might not be like that, you know, five thousand dollar item in there, but all this stuff adds up. All yeah. of it adds up, and and it'll easily. Quadruple his money on this. Yeah, 200 Easy. invested. I should get 800 back. I'm going to do some. Um, I'll try to look up some of the stuff and I'll put little bubbles up there. Oh, that's signed the too. Raleigh Fingers. Autographed. Autographed. And then all this stuff will go in the store. Padre stuff sells fast. I mean, it got to be $800 worth of stuff, don't you think? Easy. Yeah. yeah I mean, with the autograph stuff, with the, the Gwyn 3000 uh, ticket, tickets. I mean, some of the other tickets, he's got to figure out if they're home runs or. Because those Cardinal tickets, if there were uh, McGuire home runs that were on that 70, when he hit 72 or something that year, yeah. Um, it just, yeah, I mean, all that stuff adds up. I mean, okay, cool. again, not crazy, but it, was like, it could be a $50 ticket. It could be, you know, it just adds up. So. We're running out of daylight, guys, so this was a quick spur to moment video. I was keep on calling Robert, hey, you want to come over? So lately, he's been a lot of videos. He's not part of the channel. He's just a friend. I'm just buying a lot of stuff that he's into. We're kind of into the same thing, so... I figured you want to come do a quick video. He does a lot of videos like this or what collectingdusthobbies.com. I'm going to put the link to the channel. Go over there and check it out. Subscribe. Tell him Renee sent you. He always likes that. And soon we're going to start doing a lot of giveaways. And you actually got a good giveaway going on. Yeah, I do. Mickey Mantle, right? Yeah, Mickey Mantle autograph. Yeah. What's the other two? Frank Thomas? Uh, Frank Thomas and Merv Redmond. Merv Redmond. So look at his channel. Look for that video. It's really easy. The drawing comes Monday. So I'm probably going to upload this video Sunday morning. And uh, I'm going to check some of that Garth Brooks stuff. And thank you for watching. Make sure to give us a subscribe, give us a like, support the channel, and more cool stuff coming soon. Have a good day.